Welcome back to Fire Emblem Heroes. Today we'll be summoning on the legendary Selif banner. Um, our goal is to get Selif and whatever else wants to come along. Um, I was debating whether I wanted to snipe for blue and red or just go for everything. Uh, I'll start by going for everything at the and then if if I'm not getting anything, I might have to snipe for red and blue. But yeah, uh, let's begin. So, no red or blue. It's perfect way to start. So, let's go with this colorless. And we start off with Annihils. Okay. Alright, so let's see what the green has to offer. Um, Niles is... Nah, I never used him before, so... You know, it's like that, I just don't have any love for him. Or like Cecilia. Not a lot of people build her, but... I don't know. I never build... A lot of the popular units that uh, people have built over, the, over time, I never build them. I just had no interest in them. Braddy, unfortunately he's only a 3 star. So Braddy, uh, he's not the, um, if you want to go with an infantry healer, go with Emerin, which uh, beginning with this banner right here, uh, she's now on the summoning pool, and she's like by far the best infantry uh, healer in the game. So, if you want to build an infantry healer, build Emerin. And Palm Staff is probably her best weapon if you want to go offensive. If you want to go support, then you know you can go with like uh, what you want, Melancholy or um, Grand Scratcher or any other support weapon. But if you want to go purely offensive, then I suggest going with. Um, Oh, Palm Staff. Alright, so we got a lot of greens over here again. Sure, she. Another popular unit. Another unit that I have not built. Uh, let's see. So, the new update, I uh, should be hitting soon, which brings us weapon refineries and it brings the brand new um, like auto battle for ether rates. Like, just send your units out and they'll fight a random team and come back. Um, I probably won't be using it so much because, well, I mean, it goes kind of against what I do, which is like do daily runs and upload into YouTube and stuff like that. But, I don't know, I might do like one week, I just be like, this week we're just gonna do one match one day and out of battle the next day. Because I think you can out of battle up to three matches a week. Just to see like, um, where, we, where it will put us in score and stuff like that, just to try it out. But, for the most part, like, I won't be using it. Uh, just because like um, it's not very entertaining to watch so all right so we are already at nine two full circles and nothing not a lot of reds or blues though we're not getting a lot of red or blue so good thing we're not sniping otherwise we'd be a lot lower on orbs right now fear Here, which is very similar to Sairi, is just that uh, Sairi has more stats, but here's a lot easier to merge to plus 10. So, I would recommend going like if you want that type of unit, like a fast red infantry with lots of res as opposed to death, um, it's 
probably better for your two than Sairi. Mercedes, which is also not a unit that you should build, you should just fodder her off for her AR dev skill. Alright, another 3 star. Oboro. And finally, this green ore will bring us. What will we get? I don't know, I hope not. Not as that. So there's Frederick and we're at 9.5. 9.5. And a lot of blue. So. Let's see what we get. I'm hoping for at least one legendary chrome. Because. I don't have legendary chrome at the moment. Don't know that brave lance that some people like theory craft him to be extremely powerful. Other people just don't like that they turn him purely into a player face unit. And when they were using him more as an enemy face unit. But I don't use stone also, it's like whatever for me. Man, this is really bad. We're getting a lot of three stars and nothing. We're not even getting many red orbs and there's like most of the units in this game are red, so it's really annoying that we're not getting a lot of red orbs. Kase, which is, uh, which one is he? Speed smoke, I think that's what he has. Attack smoke, yeah, so yeah. A unit that gets fodder consistently, just because attack smoke is pretty much the default C skill for most tanks in Ether Raids. There's female Corin, who will soon be getting her refine, and... I'm very interested to see what what they're gonna do with her, if they're gonna keep her dark breath effect or they're gonna switch her out to something new. Hey look, two red orbs. That's like twice as many as we got into so far. Per circle. Come on, Salef. You can be here. I said Salef, not Seth. So, it's okay to have at least one copy of him on 5 star with the weapon refined just because his speed tactics for free on the weapon. He can run triple tactics. And you can use him like Arena Assault because he has his Ruby weapon. Camilla. Always good source of Savage Blow. Player. So man, this is really bad. Like sometimes I get like these rods of like summoning that get like nothing, and then you watch other people get like three, five stars in under a hundred hours. Shira, who got like who, her child person is just better than her, just because of that. Uh, effectiveness against weapons and building vantage. Man, this is really, really bad. What are we? 10.5. And we're going full circle, so. Hey, look, finally, a good circle of mostly reds. Can we get Salif right here? I would like to get Salif. Not draw. So draw got a weapon refine and a lot of people just don't they're like it's just a caracol with a little more might so not very interesting. 
we got Roy who looks really good with that uh, Niffle outfit and uh, the spending stats helped him a lot because he catches him up a little bit more to his uh, legendary version Sugar Day. Come on, this is like the most rates we got in a, circus, in a single circle. Can we get Celeb right here and not go to 11%? No, but we can get Mirabilis. Alright, so Mirabilis, this is a plus HP minus speed Mirabilis. And the last circle is... Nope, not another 5 star. So, male coring. So, yeah, this was pretty bad. Like, all those orbs and we just got one unit. Hopefully we can pull up ahead and get something else. Not at over 10%. So here we go with the blue. As I said for the blue, I would like a Corin. Uh, not a Corin, a Chrome. So Noe, Noe is hopefully she's uh, getting ready to get her weapon refined too because there's not a lot of like gem one units that haven't gotten their refines yet. So Noe would be a good one. Uh, she would probably be the only dragon that gets to keep the lightning breath effect uh, built in just because she's the one that comes with lightning breath as opposed to uh, all the other ones like dark breath for uh, Corrin, light breath for Ninian um, let's see I think original child uh young tiki's she had like the generic weapon like flame tongue or a flame breath or something like that and i think adult tiki also comes with lightning breath but uh she already got to refine some and peony okay so we got another peony this is good because it allows me to run a double peony team now. And this one didn't took us past the first circle. It's a plus attack peony. Minus death, okay. So we're down to 100 orbs. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way. So yeah, we got a Peony and a Miravelous, so we got the two um, Yosoheimer, or two Fairy Girls. So for that Miravelous, um, I might just merge her into one of the two I already have, or um, I'll see if I need Fortress Death Rest on something. And we got a girl on the throne. Saw this, so we got both of the non Celeb five stars, and this one is a plus death minus res. Uh, saw this for saw this, it's probably just better to merge her. Um, I do have like an extra one at the moment just for time poles. Uh, maybe I'll need tampos for something. But this one will probably get merged into the one that is already plus one. Maria! So healers. Healers need refines. Like this thing, they need to start giving healers a refine. Especially, like gem one healers have been like completely left in the dust. So I wish you start giving healers refines and they can start with the five star exclusive ones if they if they want like 
Juice. Uh, which I believe Gem 1 and 5 star exclusive ones are. Uh, let's see. Mist in. Um, Elise. Mist and Elise, I think those are the only two uh, Gen 1 5 star exclusives. So. It would be good for like. Uh, them to get a refine at the very least since uh, as five stars they're outclassed like by everything else like mist has such a bad stat line she has a lot of rest and, and kind of good attack but her defense and speed are just so low so they really need to like do something for healers like gem one healers and then Elise is still pretty good, she still has a good stat line, but um, the problem is she's already, she's outclassed by like a lot of the newer healers, so like Veronica, Veronica completely overshadows all of the cavalry healers. And on newer healers we have um, Forrest, he's pretty good. Uh, cavalry healer so yeah like they need to do something with healers like a refine or something wrath all right so we're down to 63 and we're at 8.5 probably just one more five star that we can squeeze out of this hopefully sell it or Chrome, because I don't have any one of them. Or Grima. I mean, I don't want. I don't mind a Grima since that would put me a plus seven Grima. Especially since she's gonna be a bonus unit next week, so we're gonna be using her a lot. Come on, be Chrome. You can be Chrome. No, it's just S. Est. A lot of people place value on S just because of her ability to quad, uh, but and having um, cavalry, not having a cavalry uh, armor effectiveness, but our uh, flyer boss teams are just not as good as anymore. Like they've been falling off use, like. Infantry Pulse, I think, is the most popular uh, defensive strategy for AR. And you'll see sometimes, like, uh, Armor Wall stall teams, like what I fought yesterday, which... Uh, those are good if you have, like, a lot of merges on them and you just focus straight up on defensive stats on them, like... Bu uh, build up their defensive stats. Man, we got... Two um, Ogmas here and nothing good. Alright, so let's push us at 9 again. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can go... How do we go? Okay, we'll go like that. And I think this is the last one I can summon on. Because I'll be under 20 and I don't want to summon if I don't have at least 20 orbs. But yeah, um, so this banner like it's, it's not the best banner out there but it's still pretty good. Like it has a lot of things I want. Which is why I'm summoning. And it's, it's always good to like stick to one type of banner like if you want to summon new banners and just try to stick to new banners only or seasonals only or legendary uh, mythic only that way you can save more orbs toward the banners you like I unfortunately don't do that I mean I should do that but I not, I have not been doing that I've been summoning on a lot of different banners 
There goes Hinata. And on the last... Oh no, yeah, we can summon one more first circle. Unless we get something right here. Which color is Eleonora? Is the only one I don't have. Alright, so we are back at like 10% again. Now, this will put us at the 10%. And this is the last summon. The last circle will summon on, so. I hope we can get something out of this. Because I hate like living uh, pity rate up. Hawkeye. What's next? Come on, be Chrome right here. Chrome. You can be a Chrome. It's just a Valvar. Valvar or slightly better Effie, but you're still better off building Effie just because she will get a refine way before he does. Gordon, who does have a refine, but um, it's very rare for me to see a Gordon. I think I saw um, one on an offensive team that went against my team once, and that's about it. The giant chicken, who also doesn't have a refine. So, this is the last one. Let it be Chrome. Can we get a Chrome right here? Nope, we got a 3 star, what, S again? Nope, just other S, Florina. And we are out of orbs. We ended up with a 10%. I uh, think we can get... We'll just pick up a few orbs and then uh, be back. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we picked up a few ores. We bought the Forma packs, uh, the Forma Soul pack. Just so that's 60 ores. Hopefully, we can pick up uh, one more unit before we run out. All right, so this could be it. this could finally be the cell if we're looking for just to have a cell. If it's mostly for the completion sakes that I like to have all the legendaries. But we get another Sotis. Alright, uh, I guess we could merge this one as well. This is a what? A neutral Sotis, okay. Like, Sotis is a unit that she gets way better at higher merges. Like, the more merges she has, the better she is. Um, oh, yes! Plus 7 Grima. Okay, so it was worth those are going for it after all uh, the one I have is a plus resin I'm not planning on changing out of it this is a plus attack uh, but like I said I'm not planning on uh, changing out of the uh, one I already have all right um, so yeah we picked up two five stars Oh, never mind. We picked up three five stars. And we got the Celeb. So, uh, yeah. This is good. Uh, just don't be minus attack. Minus rest. Okay. Plus HP. Not great, but not terrible. Alright. So, let's just finish this last two. Um, and call it a day. Bam! Uh, so we finished strong with three five stars. Unfortunately, no chrome for us, but we did pick up an extra peony, so that's uh, that's good. And we got the Celeb, so that gives us a cavalry unit for as a tank, which is cavalry tanks are pretty rare, like. Um, among units but yeah we got 
and that's it we are done with that so let's, let's take a look at what we got so i believe the first unit we got was what a raft no 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 it was definitely this niles right here this is the first unit we got so how many units we get five 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. And out of the 65s, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is every 10.25 orbs we got a five star uh, I think that's uh, let's see yeah I think the math checks out on that is that just a little over 10 orbs 10.25 orbs we get a five star so that's not that bad I guess since we managed to pick up those uh, three of them like right after another and then three at the end Uh, yeah, so this puts me at with Sothis. Now you. So yeah, we got four Sothis now. So this is the one that's plus one. And then we have this one, this one, and this one. This is a plus speed. I think plus speed is slightly better than plus attack. So we will keep the plus speed as opposed to the plus attack. And then we're still going to keep one for potentially foddering off for um, time spells. But we will merge the other two into her. So enter uh, ally growth, merge allies. So let's merge some allies. So for this Ira, like I don't want to switch to like whatever it does with like uh, Slain Edge. So I don't know if for Ira, like with Ira's Blade, if a plus attack is better than a plus speed. So it's the only reason why I haven't merged that one. So let's merge some allies. See what we got. So. It's a plus HP, so uh, which one should we keep and which one should we merge? Well, let's keep her for right now. I'm not going to merge her at the moment. But the Sothesis, we are merging the Sothesis. So this is the one we were keeping. So these are the two new ones. One point attack, one point defense. And a plus three she gets. One point HP and one point in rest. Okay. Uh, and now that she's plus three, she helps me lose less score. So that's another reason why I, I wanted to merge her. Uh, let's see this star just I mean this always I keep it just because close counter who knows I might need it uh, Same thing with this hardens with vengeful fighter and What else we got to merge uh, There's my Nylas um, One of these Nylas is getting fed into uh, it's key uh, when I make him a permanent AR tank. There's a Pionis. I'm not doing anything with her at the moment because I want to keep. I want to be able to run double Peony teams. So, um, for this Ocean, um, if we get another one, we'll see what we do with him. But I kept this Ikes for a long time, so. I decided I am actually going to merge my Ikes. 
had this ice for months. Like, months. And not done anything with them, so... I'm just gonna finally merge them. Give him a little more stats. It's still weird that he's still the only source of a breath skill. Like, all the breath skills only have one single source per. Alright, so he's now a plus four Ike. Uh, Surter is staying around over here because of Steady Stance 4. We might need it for something. Since our raisin is already plus 10, these two raisins, they're... Uh, just steady posture fodder for now on. Uh, both Thrasiers, I used to use both Thrasiers. Ah, there you are. And like I said, I'm keeping the plus rest. Mostly because it just runs up her stats at the um, defense and rest makes them more even. Alright, one point attack and one point in defense, and it's plus seven roving now. Just three more rovings to go to the plus ten. Uh, we got three arms, but I have plans for one of these arms for foddering off. Uh, same thing for this Takumi, I have plans for his close counter. There's those Guntras that one two three four five guntras that i have that i never summoned for directly but indirectly we got all these guntras i still don't know what to do with them like they do have like a disarm trap which is pretty good skill and rally death rest which can be plus which can be used in arena but i don't know what to do with her they're just staying there for the time being there's my heirs I do use up to all three airs in one team, so I don't merger. So for this Veronica, like uh, we got, the, I got this Veronica, but I don't know if I should like merge. If I should keep the plus HP or go with a plus attack, mm. I don't know. Still haven't decided which one of the two I want to keep. And that is it. That is all the five stars that we could merge or we're going to merge. All right. So we got the Celef. We got... Where are you, Celef? It should be like around here. There you are. So we got the Celef. We can use him whenever he's a bonus season. Uh, we can use him in other modes because he is a 175. Or 180, which one are you? You're a 180 BST uh, unit, so we can use it for like arena or stuff like that. But yeah, uh, that is it for this summoning session. Stay tuned for the ether rates later today or tonight. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.